Yes, yeah, so I can see the climbing monkeys. They climb up the door frames within the house. Uh huh. They climb on the countertops. They generally do not listen to their father when he's asking them to get down. Please stop. They think it's a game. But this house is not a playground. Mm. Daddy, did you do All it? All right. What do you find challenging for you as a father being at home with the kids? Joel can sit down with the kids and color with them. I'm not real big on that. I wasn't quite sure what he meant by that, but I can see that occupying the children indoors is a real challenge for him. You recognize how challenging it can be. Absolutely. I could sense with Dad that he's just trying to get through the morning oh. and he's robbing himself of having fun with his children. And that's what I find a real big shame. When Dad gets home, he normally ends up in front of that computer. So I wanted to make sure that he gave his children full focus and I sent them all to the park. They want to climb on the monkey bars. They want to swing on the swings. They want to do what they want to do here. Let them get it out of the system. Shemi and Shelby climb on absolutely everything because they need an outlet for their physical energy. So this is their playground, not the home. And you could always say to her, I saw you on that. That was fantastic. You balanced really well. Shelby, I saw you do that, baby. Good girl. <laughs> Shermy, Shelby, can you come with me? Because we're going to go over to that big hill over there. The kids were having great fun in the park, and Dad was looking on at them. So I gave him a nudge and said, go and have fun with him as well. Shelby, should we get Daddy to roll down the hill? Daddy, roll down the hill. Should we get Daddy to roll down the hill? Roll, Daddy, oh. roll. Oh. Roll, oh. roll, oh. roll. I think Joe was trying to get me to be a little more active with the kids. I can do what they can do. Oh. You know, I can get out there and play with them like the best of them. Come on, baby. And we put Daddy down the hill. And he saw that they enjoyed it, so I'm hoping that it will encourage him to just be himself, do what he wants, because that's what matters at the end of the day. It was very fun. I mean, like I said, I did some things I haven't done in years. <laughs> OK, so between four and five, we've got the switch off. There isn't any time to communicate about your day, so we have this. OK. It's a very simple idea. Before Dad leaves, he reports about the day, he lets her know exactly what's gone on, and then he leaves it with Mum in the car to listen on the way back. Hi, honey, it's me. Just wanted to let you know we had a great day today. Breakfast went good. Went to the park. That was great. Uh, Shelby did take a nap. Shermie ate his snack, and Shelby did not eat her snack because I woke her up and we're on our way out the door. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Bye-bye. I think it's very important for Joel to know if they've had any privileges taken away, if they ate everything, you know, at their snack times, so she can go by that. How are you? Good. Hi. Hello. Oh, what's this? Communication device. Oh, it just lets me know what you did for the day? How cool. <laughs> I was a little surprised when he handed me a tape recorder. And he told me that uh, he kind of recorded what him and the children did during the day, and that was for me to listen to on the way home. And we were at the park today. I got to roll down the hill about six times. So that was fun. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Bye-bye. Daddy went down a hill today at the park. Did you have fun at that park? Yeah, you turn did? it on again. Yeah. OK. <laughs> it's pretty useful, actually, being so rushed. I am able to get a lot of information from Sherman on that tape.